All right, greetings, my friends. Happy Saturday. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, I'm out. We're looking for a camping site. Uh, the No Mock Experience is in town. If you don't know his channel, you're going to be introduced to it today. So uh, we went to the first campground, and it was really crowded, so we were looking for another place. And in the meantime, I'm cooking up some tamales. Let me see if I can brighten this up for you. Here it's simmering. Ooh, turn that down. So yeah, um, here, let me show you his van and let's introduce you to Kevin. Hey my friends, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him. Kevin from the No Mock Experience. Yeah, so on, he's everybody? he has rolled into Nashville. We've been hanging out for the last few days. Uh, I've been trying to play host the best I can. Unfortunately, you know, I got to work every day, but... Here it is the weekend and we're looking for a campsite. You got to see his puppies. All right, so the white one's Bella. She's a little shy sweetheart. And then you have Barrett. He is a handsome, handsome boy. And he's uh, outgoing and he just doesn't meet a stranger. He loves everybody. He's I call him Bear. <laughs> Bear? Barrett, let's get your face on camera. What do you say? He's handsome. What are you Look what a handsome boy. And look what a pretty girl. Belle Belle, she's pretty. She's just on the shy side. So I just started my van build not too long ago because I just got this van. I had a 1997 Chevy Express. And then I got this van. And I had a subscriber build me some cabinets. And that's pretty much all I've done to it besides I've made this floating bed. And I put a subfloor in with vinyl down. Um, I have my 24 volt or my 12 volt refrigerator that's running off a portable battery pack that I charge by solar whenever I'm parked or I charge it via the cigarette lighter in the, uh, in the van. And my van's a complete mess right now because Matt took me through the <laughs> mountains here in East Tennessee and my blankets went everywhere because the dogs were jumping back and forth and their two dog beds are on the floor but they didn't, uh, they didn't use those. They decided to use Dad's bed. <laughs> and we're hoping to uh, finish up his solar in the next few days, too. We're just waiting on some parts to come in. Yeah, but yeah he's got a big uh, Ram ProMaster 1500. And it's taller than my van. All right, so you can see his van, even with the standard top on the Ram, it's still taller than the GMC. And that's not even the high top. All right, so actually we are east of Nashville. We're in between Knoxville and Nashville off I-40. And uh, this is near Burgess Falls State Park. And we came down to this Corps of Engineers campground that I found on one of my camping apps. And it looked like it was deserted and it was just down in this hollow and it was just nothing around here. And we topped the, we turned a corner and there was, was cars and kayaks everywhere. So apparently this is a nice um, little spot that all the locals already know about. So it was really crowded. So now we're figuring out what we're gonna do. We're looking on the camping apps to see if uh, we can find some other place. In the meantime, we're gonna have some lunch and uh, let's check on the tamales. Oh yeah, these are simmering perfect. So that's what I'm about to chow down on. And um, we'll check in when we get up to uh, another another place and figure out where we're going to camp, what we're going to do. All right, my friends. So we left the other spot. It was too crowded. And check out the spot we found. Pretty sweet. Right here on the Cumberland River, Granville, Tennessee. Remember, I was up here a couple of months ago testing out my Wii Boost. This is the area that's notorious for no cell signal. Kev, you want to say hey? hey guys, I'm just hooking up my dog leash. <laughs> We're about to get Bella and Barrett out and let them uh, have some fun on a really long leash where they can have a good time, but they can't get too far away. Oh, Bella's excited. Yeah, she is. So there's uh, the no mock wagon and the Maddie wagon. <laughs> and there's nobody else here. Right now. Keep our fingers crossed. 
See this little spot right over here on that point? I think I'll pull the Matty wagon right out there. Looks like a spot for an RV, doesn't it? In this, in this, uh, this is the main river. And look around the outside here of this point. There's a creek that flows in. Bear, come here, buddy. Don't go too far. You got poop? We'll do it way over there in the bushes. Check this out. So this is the creek that flows into it. Is this a gold mine or is this a gold mine? The other place was slam packed. I guess it was 30 cars at the other place with canoes and just uh, just a mess. But look at this. Look, they were even nice enough to give us a, a garbage pail. <laughs> yeah, it's just boat launch. All right, guys, there's more to come. Oh, they're having a good time. A good time. Bear, come here. I need to hook your leash. Wow, what a spot, man. What a spot. I think uh, when the sun gets a little lower in the sky, I will pull uh, maybe around this way and swing the doors open where it's just facing out. We'll do that Instagram shot <laughs> that van dwellers always do. No, what do they call it? The Pinterest shot. What I got to let you guys know is, is that even though Matt's been doing this a whole lot longer than I have, I got to teach him some small little tricks. If you notice how we're parked, I'm parked strategically to be able to get the heck out of here in case something nefarious happens. What does Matt do? <laughs> I'll he back out. me. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the shade was when we pulled in. Yeah. So that's why I pulled under that tree. I hear the eagles playing. Yeah, there's a camper on the other side of this holler. Oh, okay. And he's got his tent up. I hear Don Henley. All right, guys, that's it for now. Be back shortly. So after we've been scoping this place out, we have realized that there's really only one campsite here. And it's right here. How do we know? Because there's a fire pit down here. You can see someone's had their fire here. And this is just right here on this little peninsula. So we're going to commandeer it with our tables and chairs and I'll probably leave our vans back up there. But just so nobody will come and pull their camper down here because we're claiming it. All right, just wanted to, uh, there is a road that goes up. You know what this spot's called from now on? What? No Mock Halen. No Mock, no mock Halen. So there is another road that juts off up here. Just a dirt road. Now there might be some campsites up in here that would be more secluded. But what do you need seclusion when there's nobody else down here? Here it is Saturday, in the middle of May, and it's beautiful. There's nobody down here with their boats and all that. I can't believe it. So we must have had a death here. I don't know what happened here. But yeah, there's no sign here saying don't come up this road. Hold on. Hold, there is a sign. There is a sign. Right there. No motorized vehicles beyond this point. What do you got a road if you don't have motorized vehicles? I don't get it. Okay, so we know now this is the one and only campsite, and it showed up on my free camping app as dispersed sites, plural sites, and it's just one. But uh, there's no signs around here about not parking overnight, so even if you weren't going to set up a tent and camp, pull your van here and park, you could get 
20 vans in here. <laughs> then they would shut the place down. All right, guys, later. Thank you for stopping by. Be well. Smash that bell. <laughs> Thank you, Kev.